Hello friends, Namaste. You are watching Samir Jasuja Prop Equity and I am Samir, your real estate friend, real estate philosopher and real estate guide. Today we are going to talk about one of the best cities for investment in the world today. And this city is just not the best investment destination. It has also now become one of the best cities to live in from a global point of view. And we are talking about Dubai. To do justice to this city and answer each and every question that an investor may have in mind, we will have to do a couple of episodes and we will have to support this argument with a lot of data, analytics and facts. And by that, you will actually realize on your own why I'm saying what I'm saying. I would request you to watch all these episodes if you want to be the smartest investor in real estate. Also, this kind of content has never been shared on YouTube about Dubai. The data, statistics and facts that we are going to share in this video is absolutely going to blow your mind. We will also share with you the multiple reasons which make Dubai the most sought after destination for investment globally and we would request you to stay on right till the end. Let's start with the jaw dropping facts and figures first. In 2024, Dubai which has a population of only 3 million and the Dubai city which is half the size of South Mumbai will surpass the entire real estate sales in under construction compared to all the top tier 1 cities in India which have a population of more than 200 million people put together. In 2023, Dubai sold 120,000 under construction units translating to 6,65,000 crores and that too in a radius of just 30 kilometers which is like a town in India. Compare that to the top tier 1 cities in India and I am talking about Mumbai, Thane, Navi Mumbai, NCR, Bangalore, Hyderabad, Chennai, Calcutta, Pune put together sold 6,34,000 crores of real estate and sold 5 lakh units. Can you compare these figures? Not only that, the number one developer which is MR of Dubai sold 1 lakh crores of real estate in just 2023 and the top 10 developers of India, DLF, Godrej, Prestige, Lodha, Shobha, Brigade, Purvankara, Uberoi Realty, Kolte Patel, Mahindra Life Spaces, these are the biggest and best names of India, sold 95,000 crores. So you can imagine the wealth that is going into Dubai with respect to real estate. Not only that, even though the supply has doubled in Dubai's under construction market, the price appreciation has been more than 2x in the last three years and the rental returns are still 6 to 8% even though the supply is nearly doubling which says something about the city. Now let's understand a little bit about the macro numbers of Dubai and understand what Dubai is really all about. Dubai is one of the seven emirates of the UAE and covers a total area of 4,114 kilometers. But guess what? 97% of the population, which is roughly about 3.5 million people, live in the Dubai city, which is only 35 square kilometers. Now let's look at the GDP. The GDP of Dubai is 139 billion. And guess what? The off-plan sales were worth $80 billion. Now let's compare that to India. India has a GDP of 3 trillion and the real estate sales were only about 80 billion. So if we compare Dubai to India, India gets dwarfed by Dubai when it comes to real estate. Now let's look at the foreign direct investment in real estate in Dubai and compare that to India. The foreign retail residential buyers account for 43% of the entire under construction retail sales that Dubai has. That is roughly $40 billion. And we get very happy in India when we cross 
three billion dollars of foreign direct investment in the entire Indian real estate sector, which includes residential, commercial, retail, and hospitality also. So you can imagine the difference. Now the numbers that I'm about to share with you made me fall off my chair, and I'm very proud to say that that India accounts for the biggest investment in Dubai in real estate. 21.3% is the share of India, followed by United Kingdom at only 12%, and then Saudi Arabia at 10% with respect to the real estate investments made in the off-plan residential market of Dubai. Do you know what that number translates to in dollar terms? Indians invested $29.1 billion in 2022 in the under construction of planned residential market and that is 1,80,000 crores. That is 30% of all Indian real estate market in tier 1 cities put together. And that number is mind-blowing. That means Indians are investing much more in Dubai than in India itself. That makes them the smartest real estate investors, I must say, in the rest of the world. We also keep hearing that all the ill-gotten money comes into real estate in Dubai and there are a lot of wars that are happening in the world, the Russia-Ukraine war, the Israel-Palestine war, and so on and so forth. But that's not entirely true. 70% of all the foreign investments that are made in real estate are coming from countries where there is no war. And these countries include India, United Kingdom, Saudi Arabia, Canada, China, Egypt. There are no wars happening over there. And if you sum up their investments, that roughly accounts for 70%. Although I must say, Russian investments have gone up by 1.5x, but Russia's total investment in Dubai today only stands at 3.7%. So what is this hullabaloo all about that all the money from all the bad countries of the world is coming into Dubai and that's what's propping up the Dubai real estate market. That's not true at all. I'll share with you another startling fact. The UAE nationals, which are the Emiratis, still continue to hold 52% of the entire real estate portfolio of Dubai which is $202 billion. And the foreign nationals, which account for much more than the population of the Emiratis, have still only 42%, which is $160 billion. So you can well understand the Emiratis believe in their country and they have their own houses as well, but they still continue, continue to invest in real estate within their own country. And look at the rest of the world. They are coming to Dubai to invest. So you can well understand that Dubai is the best investment destination in the world. Not only all the people across the world are investing in Dubai, they are moving there too and making it their home. In 2019 alone, there were over 154,000 families that moved to Dubai. And in the next three years, which is 2020 to 2022, there were another average of 50,000 families a year that moved in. And that number doubled in 2023 to about 97,000 people. Overall, if you look at the last five years, there were about 350,000 families that have shifted to Dubai. Now let's compare that to India. I don't think India over the last 20 years has been able to attract 3 lakh expats. That's why Dubai is never going to be a bubble. Also, it's important to note that the Dubai government has plans of doubling the population of Dubai from 3 million to 6 million by 2040. So you can imagine the real estate demand that will continue to be in that small city of 35 kilometers and that will keep driving the prices up as well as the rentals. Like I said, I can't do justice to Dubai in just one video. We will be bringing you an entire series on Dubai, which will become a case study and a manual for retail investors 
and will also be a learning for all the governments across the world on how to attract foreign investments and make fantastic cities like Dubai. All the developed nations across the world are vying for such kind of investments and influx of the most sought after global high net worth individuals of the world who contribute to their country in every which way. So in the next few episodes, we will tell you a lot, lot more. We will talk about all the reasons that make Dubai so aspirational. We will also bring you a top local real estate expert who will give you a full detail on the region, the rental yields, the appreciation and price points, along with all the nuances of living and investing in Dubai. We will also bring you a full episode on the best properties that you can invest in. If you like our videos, please like, share and subscribe to our channel since we are the only channel that brings you data and analytics driven content that will help you make that right decision. This is Samir signing off.